Come to Tanks Invest, we talk about investing, finance, and professional development. That's the recording time of 5.37 p.m. on Eastern Time. Ethereum contract $2,435, about close to 1% so far. As you can see clearly on the over crypto market and the equity market, on a post-market perspective, it's relatively a mixed bag at the moment uh, after the Fed meeting that happened at 2.30 p.m. on Eastern Time earlier today. And based on the high-level synopsis of the meeting, we have a, got a kind of a mixed signal type of meeting today, right? We got a confirmatory signal from Jerome Powell himself that the interest hike is coming in March, which is in alignment with Wall Street expectation, which subsequently allow for the entire market to rally from there. But as the, the verbiage you know, went on in continuation, obviously, it seems like there is some mixed signal around the specific time frame and the quantity around how many interest hikes and what time frame is going to be happening, right? Um, and the contingency is basically, you know, the mandates that the feds has, which is the job number, right? And in the uncertain, you know, economic outlook that we're still trying to get a grab on going forward, um, this doesn't give, you know, the highest confidence to investors, right? Especially, you know, we know based on our collective experience so far, a negative news that is confirmatory is always better than a news that is uncertain or relatively mixed in terms of us, uh, psychologically speaking, right? And uh, on a high level uh, verbiage around the interest hikes in September, in March coming, uh, the committee have uh, specifically laid out that they will be proceeding. Uh, you know, obviously, as we have adjusted the $120 billion of bond purchasing back in last year to now shaving to an um, amount that is confirmatory around $30 billion in February, right? And he expects that is going to be, you know, comparable in March as well. So that's interesting that they are, um, you know, having this type of a correlation going forward, um, which is, again, confirmatory in near term. But in terms of being proactive uh, on the, you know, further out in the future, is still uncertain, right? So again, it's positive in the short term, but mixed signal on the long term, right? So not the not like the most, um, how would you say, uh, positive signal. Let's just put it that way. It's not a negative one, right? But it's still not something that people were looking for. People were looking for Jerome, obviously, to lay it out for us, right? This is the plan. This is an alignment Wall Street expectation. And this is how it's going to be trending going forward, right? If Jerome's verbiage was a little bit more structured, or a little bit more, you know, giving us a little bit more confirmatory hints, even, it would have conveyed a high confidence, right? But because of the fact that we did not get that today, it translates into some sort of a surprise onto the market sentiment. And right now, selling back down from the previous highs that we were surging to at the 2,700, and laying back down to the comfortable level at the 2,450, which is technically why we're laying at the current level at the moment, right? So again, um, not the best outcome, but not like, you know, seriously detrimental, you know, for us. Ultimately, you know, Jerome has to be diplomatic with his verbiage, and this is the best he can do at the moment, right? But for us, ultimately, would this be another buying opportunity? Let's just dive into technical analysis real quick. So with respect to recording time of 5.41 p.m. on the Eastern Time, Ethereum contract $2,432, that about 1.16%. Again, we're laying at a comfortable level of consolidated level of 2,450 with a 26 out of 70 still curving up. So the momentum still sustains, right? And we have got through the hurdle already, right? Obviously just today, right? And with respect to the tech rebound that we'll also see across the spectrum, you see that Tesla, we saw some volatility post-market perspective dipping down by about 3%, but subsequently as the uh, 
earnings call got digested, uh, the report specifically, um, it got um, you know, a little bit more confidence on the, onto the outlook. But we still have to hear from Elon Musk himself on the economic outlook going forward. And if he even brings anything specifically around crypto as well, if he says anything that is positive on that side of the house, or anything shocking, that could technically change the momentum because he's a relatively sizable market driver, especially for crypto, right? So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but if he doesn't say anything, I think we're just going to be gliding away uh, around the current level. And the level that we're at right now is a substantive level, right? And the next level that if we go down would be the 2150. The next level up would be the 2650, right? So I think we're already at the oversold level, the 26 out of 70. I think the the uh, probability of going back up is going to be higher than going back down, to be honest with you. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but in terms of incurring risk right now, uh, I don't think it's a terrible idea because we're still extremely oversold. With respect to Bitcoin is now about 1.51%, uh, the 36,500 right now. Um, the next level we need to get up to is going to be about 37,500. We're basically flat at the moment, right? And if we're going to come back down, it's going to be the 34,500. But we are already oversold, right? Obviously, we're way submerged to even the worst area, the 19 out of 70. So would it be okay to incur risk right now? I think maybe it's some, like some small portion of, you know, uh, dollar cost average would be logical, but not definitely not go crazy and go heavy on it right now, or not as aggressive in comparison to days, to days before. Dogecoin is flat right now. Uh, I would like anywhere from the 1370 to below would still be more logical for us. Cardano is at 105 right now. I like anywhere from 102 to 92 from here with the 40 out of 70. So not the best, not the worst either. Solana is at 91 right now. I like anywhere from current level all the way to 80. Uh, we're still oversold at 31 out of 70. So Solana is not terrible, again, right, in terms of the risk versus reward ratio. XRP is now about 1.29%. I like anywhere from the current level to the 55, which is basically rock bottom from here. Polkadot is now about 3.2%, 1783 right now. I like anywhere from current level all the way to 1580 from here. Algorand is now about 0.22% and 91 out of 91 cents. We are at the 20 out of 70. Uh, not really doing much right now. I like it anywhere from current level all the way to 80 cents from here. Shiba Inu is up about 0.4%, uh, 211 right now. I like anywhere from the low 2000s to the, basically the 1700, which is the, the, the dip that we got. But I like actually anywhere from the um, like low 2000, 1400 to 900. These are the levels I would ideally dollar cost average at. MACTA is down about 0.53%. You can see we're seeing some more funkiness going on right now. I don't really like this. Um, you can see that we got another flash crash happened earlier today. We got down all the way to 88. Not sure what happened here, but it seems like there's some well manipulations going on. Uh, but again, anywhere from 143 to 120 is something I appreciate from here. Um, AVAX down about 3.25%, 59 to 50 is still logical. Luna at 59, so we broke below 62, so that's good. 50, 62, 52, 45 from here, right? In respect to risk management level, these are levels I identified so far. Uh, let me know if you have specific questions on the, um, the meeting today. Um, it's definitely, you know, we have a short-term positive confirmatory signal, but a mixed signal in terms of a long-term outlook. So definitely doesn't convey confidence to investors, obviously. But uh, we're going to keep it one day at a time, obviously. You know, ultimately, the investment um, game is an emotional roller coaster. It's important for you to mute all the emotions and just stay within the logical quantitative frame of reference and dollar cost of average from there, right? And eventually, long-term-wise, you'll be just fine. So hopefully this is helpful. Let me know how it goes and take care. Bye.